10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have ignition. Hey everybody, and welcome back to How Not to RP1. Uh, we are resuming our career right where we left off. We're kind of biding time, waiting for some tech to unlock, and uh, hoping we can open up Lunar Range comms and try to, in time to do a Lunar Impactor uh, before the contract expires. We are magically gifted some science, thank you Kerbalism, which allows us to start researching the node and doing some upgrades. But in the meantime, we're going to be getting around to some X405A flights, so I will turn you immediately over to Old Me. Okay, uh, atmospheric autopilot, uh, master switch engaged. This we want to pin open gear. Uh, throttle to full, ignition. And I believe we are already at acceptable altitude for this contract. We just need to get up to speed. Oh, come on, where is it? Yeah, we need to be below 13.9, but above 12. And above four six meters per second. So roll that throttle back. We want to sit right in the minimum end of this, if possible. Okay, we are barely, barely accelerating. Good, good. This is going to be really difficult to stay. Uh, oh, come on. I need to keep this contract window open. Timer is running. Sorry, chat. I need to stare very intently at numbers coming up on drop tank jettison ah uh, is this running Dang it i don't have the tv camera on here that's what i really wanted because this thing is full i should have gone the other way external tanks away waiting 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 so all of these are done 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 dang it we're not gonna we don't need the science we're good okay stay above 11 9 let's See if we can level out here. I don't think we can roll this throttle back much further. And we are accelerating. We just have to stay below 665. Oof. <laughs> lots and lots of staring at numbers. KSP 1.1 looking rather spectacular. Is it? Oh man, I want to. What is this? This is RP1. Chat, very sorry. I'm going to have to. Yes, RP1 once again, once a month. First stream of the month is going to be RP1, typically. All right, we are about 15 seconds away of being halfway through this contract. Yeah, picking up speed. We got about another 150 some odd meters per second we can pick up before we start to... Uh, see the top end of what this contract will allow if it comes to it we will shut down an engine just to make sure we can uh, stay within spec killer Kriegsman, how's it going welcome there's the ksc so we are undoubtedly within uh, landing range the save be kept for extra life 2021 if we're still running it then then yeah i guess uh Extra Life 2021 might be 12 hours of RP0 and 12 hours of RP1. <laughs> Just rolled in what? It'll break the tradition of uh, me making yet another anti-tutorial. What's the mission? Uh, right here in our contract window. Currently, we need to maintain between 465 and 665 meters per second between 12 kilometers and 13.975 kilometers altitude for three minutes, of which we have 45 seconds remaining. Did a sneaky painting? Is those the ones you posted in the Discord? Because uh, I think I just took a look at those a little while ago. I'm flying at happy medium altitudes. And <laughs> this is where we ended up, and uh, I kind of want the drag to keep us slow. We're at like our minimum throttle, and we're still gaining speed. Yeah, rockets do work better higher up. I don't want it to work better. I want it to work exactly as it's performing right now. It's keeping us below the maximum rated speed by a very fair margin. Two, one, ding. 
Contract complete. We are cleared to land, which means let's go full throttle and let's get some altitude. We can push to about 30 kilometers before uh, we start to kill our poor friend Bob here. Roll this back a bit. I want to save some fuel for the return leg. Whoop. Increasing g lobe. Space Center is the other way. It is indeed, but we're a bit close for what I typically like to do on approach here. Alright, we're going to shut down the engines in... A couple more seconds. 23. Bump, bump. I don't want to hit altitude. Victory roll. Excellent. How's this camera running? Stopped. We got all the info we can from here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah. Dang it. There will be no science payout on this flight today, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll start uh, looping back for home here in just a little bit. Bob just uh, wants to enjoy the view. This is a rather leisurely flight for him. So let's unleisurely it, shall we? No close to Mach 2. This is a good time to perform uh, stressful maneuvers on the airframe. <laughs> Obviously. Flare out the brakes. Lose all the yaw control while doing so. Bring it on home. I am also really bad at controlling planes. That doesn't mean... Well, I still find it insanely fun. I, I love flying aircraft. But in this game, I should specify. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Uh, I don't know if we got the excess speed anymore. Happy now. <laughs> I I was thinking loop to loop, not barrel roll. Uh, the stream is freezing in 180p. Oh man, Twitch, get your shit together. All right, let's brace this into subsonic. Woo! Yeah, we need to reduce the braking deflection on this uh, tail brake. That's going to cause a problem later. Later on. All right, Bob, bring it home with your non-science having ass. We're just a little heavy with this uh, excess fuel left in the tank, but I think uh, I think I'll make it. I think we'll be okay. I, yeah, Twitch is constantly shooting itself in the face. Uh, visible imaging. Somebody radioed in some science. Much appreciated, whichever spacecraft that was. Why are these toggling? Oh, I guess these are adjusting for... This is causing drag on the top of the aircraft, which is pushing nose up. So these are trying to compensate to keep the nose down. Oh, I have slowed down way too much screwing around with this. Good job, Crash. Whoa, don't adjust heading in time warp like ever. That's the rule, everyone. <laughs> SKS Light. Oh, thank you, Blackbird. <laughs> it was uh, amazing to get my very first one. <laughs> All right, yeah, speed is looking good for runway approach. Caps lock and time warp is fine usually. Oh, I've never even tried that. Might be worth a thing sometimes. Brakes, 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 brakes. Yeah, there we go. Just tap off a little bit of speed as we uh, adjust ourselves in here. Guess we should arm our shoot. No, not aim camera. I'm not. Oh, what the hell? No, no. Cut. Crap. How much altitude we got? 800 meters? Okay, we're putting it down in the grass, y'all. Get some speed, get some speed. Come on. All right, bring it up. Gear out. Oh! Okay. Fuck 
me. Uh, F in chat for Bob, our last fallen hero. The last of the orange shoots. Orange suits. <sighs> Son of a... That did not... I did such a great job on my last runway landing, I might as well just... Com Jesus, equipment failure too. Uh, I'm so sorry, Bob. And uh, did, because we bounced, did we get the contract? <laughs> that's uh, that's all I care about is did I get paid? X played supersonic. Nope. We have to hire someone and do it again. So the first order of business is to retrofit the uh, 405A. We're going to get rid of this film canister and replace it with a TV camera so we can hopefully get some freshly generated science uh, from the re many repeated flights of this thing that we're going to be doing uh, over the next couple of weeks and try to, I don't know, yeah, get some science while we get some revenue. We'll also check that drag shoot and make sure this problem ho hopefully won't happen again before jumping over to the astronaut complex and hiring Lizney Kerman, who's going to be our next test pilot. Uh, she barely gets a brief intro before we just stuff her in the cockpit and tell her to complete this contract. Master switch engaged. Throttle to full. Engine ignition. Alright, uh, what's our top end? Oh, I need to see these fuel tanks. All the way at the bottom, all the way at the bottom, all the way at the bottom. There we go. Sir, autopilot, you can go away. 13.9, I think, is our top end. And above 4.65, we are there. Roll the throttle back. Oh, as you can set it. There we go. 13.9. We cannot go above 13.9. So good. We're descending. Here we go. All right. Lizney. Lizney, Lizney, Lizney. You really... We would like you to pull out a success. EFT's away. Not that it's damning for the space program, but it is a matter of pride, and you have big, big, big shoes to fill, and I should have adjusted the articulation angle on our speed brake. That would have been a good thing to do. So, um, we got nothing to do for the next two minutes. Veos! How's it going, buddy? Good to see you again, man. It's been a while. Is this thing running? We are running and generating minuscule amounts of science. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Deus. Buddy, please. Please don't. We, we've already killed one Kerbal this stream. <laughs> Have mercy. <laughs> she knew the ejectors on early X-Plane engines were basically glorified showerheads. I did not. Makes sense. Logic holds. Dude. <laughs> All right, a minute 20 remaining. Turn home safely. <laughs> That's the big one, isn't it? I took it for granted. I took it for granted. Well, I armed a parachute that I thought wouldn't deploy until touchdown, and that really borked us, so we're just not going to arm that parachute this time. That's that's the key. <laughs> I thought since we touched down, maybe we would have gotten a contract complete out of it, but probably not. One second, y'all. Yeah, there's some fire. That's how the rocket ship goes, huh? Because it's so burnt. You can't even touch that. You can't even touch that fire. Yeah, it's no, he should not touch fire. <laughs> yeah. It's very hot. Alright, Papa's gonna go back to doing his thing. Papa. Say bye bye. She's just starting. Bye. Bye. Okay. Two seconds. One second. Are we still within contract? We are cleared to land. 
Let's actually land it this time. Uh, we're gonna keep pushing a little beyond KSC so that we can have some a stretch to run and land and get some. <laughs> okay, I'm hypersonic U-turn. Be good at one thing. Hyper. Oh, there's debris. Dang it. Now we have a yet another death marker. Scorpio, how's it going? Welcome. Lizney's gonna keep sailing it easy this time, but that does mean landing heavy. I don't know if we wanna... <laughs> she does love the rockets. <laughs> Alright, let's shut it down here. Engine's off. Good. Do a barrel roll. <gasps> I feel like we're celebrating our victories a little early here, y'all. Baby Crash is born and already talking and talking in like full coherent sentences now. And running and climbing and doing all the things. Alright, it is time to bring Lizney home. And do a barrel roll after landing. <laughs> Perfect idea. Agreed. Make it so. All right, we are on approach. Still in KOS while the save is still young. Uh, I mean, I feel like the advancements in MechGem have kind of outdated KOS for me, and the big selling point to KOS was that you could, like, progress programmatically work around remote tech delay but you don't really need to do that anymore because you don't have remote tech <laughs> the barrel rolls normally fix everything <laughs> normally not last time as you can see by our death marker <laughs> over here <laughs> let's uh keep it about two clicks up while we uh sail on in and bleed off some of this speed we're gonna have to adjust our angle so there's that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Get out, bring it up. Get that nose up just a little bit, please. Thank you. And while inverted, eject touchdown. No ejector seats on this. This is rustic 1950s technology where if you wanted to eject, you had to open the window and jump. <laughs> Unfortunately, these windows don't open, and jumping has been strictly barred by the uh, RP1 uh, developers, so there will be no jumping. Yeah, cabin ejection is always an option. I have that on later iterations of this airframe. They're called something different. I think X805 and X909. Flare them tails. Get that speed down while we line up for runway approach. Let's not screw it up this time. Lizney, all eyes are on you. Don't this up. I thought about it very briefly just several minutes ago, and I think the answer is probably going to be nah. Say, so we've proven we can land this thing when it's at maximum, like full of fuel, just minus the drop tanks, without too much issue. Oh, caps lock is too slow, but without caps lock is too high. This is interesting. Let's fishtail this somewhere close to the runway, please. Don't bleed off too much of that. Oh yeah, now we're way too high. Dang it. I have borked yet another landing. Many apologies, everyone. We're coming in hot. If you could get those wheels on the dirt, that'd be great. Skirt, skirt. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that parachute pulled our nose up so much. Breaks, 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 breaks. Uh, she's alive. <laughs> you can always go around. Yeah, you could have. I could have just lit those engines again and gone back around. But you know what? Putting it in the dirt. Hey, um... Okay, so that's a thing. <laughs> Let's set the parking brake. 
any grass you could walk away from. <laughs> we'll just, you know, scrape the mud out of the elevators. Everything's fine. We did it. Contract complete. Recover vessel. So while we're waiting for recovery crews to walk the uh, couple hundred meters out here to the aircraft and uh, get it back in and uh, fit for service again, we will turn our attention to uh, more science collecting endeavors um, because, well, we need more science because that's the only way we're going to get through stuff. With Lunar Range comms now unlocked, we can stick this antenna on top of our uh, prospective lunar impactor build, which... Uh, yeah, there really just isn't a whole lot to this. We've just added a B stage uh, on top of our first uh, real orbital uh, payload delivery capable rocket. Um, we don't really know if we're even going to actually be able to get this thing into orbit. It's all very perspective, but um, I, I have a lot to learn about uh, how real antennas work. I, I really have no idea why we're not getting any bandwidth through this antenna, so we'll We'll poke around at settings and things and make sure our comm station, our uh, center, is fully upgraded before looking through some other menus. Chat really had to talk me through a lot of this because this is all very new to me still, and I literally have no idea what I'm doing. So, yeah, you know, there's there's always going to be a learning curve with the uh, new versions of uh, Realism Overhaul and uh, RP1 for me, because I'm very much stuck in my one-point boomer ways sometimes, where... Things were a lot simpler, but uh, with the little bit of added mass, we're going to try to adjust our tank settings. Apparently that antenna is uh, real heavy for packaging this all up and getting it set up. And uh, then the idea had occurred to us that, well, we can use this uh, rocket and its uh, new upper stage to get some uh, high space science uh, from around Earth. And, uh, well, we, you know, we'll... We don't need the RCS. We don't need a few other things that we're going to use for fine control upon uh, approaching the moon to get us an impact. Uh, we just need to kind of go, but we want it to last for a while, so we'll include some solar panels. And we're basically going to stuff uh, every single piece of scientific equipment we can on this thing with the hope that uh, it can get us uh, a lot more science and uh, thus some money. We do have a contract that could be associated with this. Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but uh, it was basically hit a, hit a specific altitude requirement. And so uh, with that contract giving us a, a little infusion of cash, we do get a couple of attempts at this, maybe two before uh, that contract uh, will expire. But I think we've got a pretty decent build here if you keep the magnetometer retracted so the fairing doesn't become absolutely ridiculous. So we'll get this thing on the production line since we're editing an existing vehicle. It is rather quick to get uh, built and rolled out to the pad. So this will be our first attempt at accomplishing this contract. And, well, really, we just need all the, the things to go smooth which is exactly not how any of this is ever going to work because, you know, Agathorn really just likes to stab me in the back uh, every single time we have a deadline to deal with. But at least the booster lit this time and we are well on our way to orbit, uh, thankfully. It's a, a very, very welcome change of pace. So as we're running through this uh, last you know, 20 some odd seconds of uh, of runtime on our engines. We'll just uh, make sure our staging is going to be adjusted well, because we do plan on turning off mech jeb at stage separation. But for the uh, rest of this flight, I guess I will turn you over to uh, old me live during the broadcast. Two seconds, one second, killing autopilot disengaged just in time. All right, uh, we're going to hit 118. We, we have to light our engine in like a minute. So, uh, stage, uh, RCS to arm, eulage, if you could point to prograde, please, and thank you. Why are you not pointing to prograde? Oh, because there's some kind of error. There's a stop at stage item in the Ascent Guidance HRUI, you mean. And Nine and Beardy did it in for all Kerbal Kind, but like, quick save to. Oh, Ampersand, come on! Top heavy boy gang. Oh no, this is not going well for us. Um. What do, friends? 
All right, throttle is zero. Let's stage in our engine, please. Yes, you do have an ignition. Propellant is very stable. We're gonna go ahead and light it and try to round out this orbit. As long as it's spinning, it'll stay in all. Just as soon as we hit that prograde vector, we're gonna light it up. Hope for the best. Three, two, one. Ignition. You son of a... Fuck you! Fuck you, AJ-10. Spin it. <laughs> Not good. Not good. <laughs> Judy heard Frankie had stopped to look at the screen. <laughs> I didn't even... I, I don't have the monitor loop on my headphones, so I can't hear anything at all other than the game. So... <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know Frankie was y yarping at things. All right, let's uh, hot stage this. I don't think we're gonna hit our desired orbit, but we're gonna try. We're already going down. Not enough spin. Son of a bitch. Wibble wobble, wibble wobbles. Yeah, look at that deviation. That's fun, isn't it? Just great. We're not even technically in space. And I don't think we're ever gonna be. <laughs> Epic crash quotes, Veos. This is test flight, not test light. Yep. Fear leads to anger. AJ-10 is fear. Is. It is. We have maxed out the DUs on that AJ-10. It is as reliable as it's ever going to be, and we are as not orbital as we are ever going to be. As a matter of fact, we're not even going to space today, y'all. So, you know, uh, if only we had spun this a little better. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Although I think our DVs were not sufficient, unfortunately. So uh, this little guy is doomed to the dustbin of history as yet another failure for CCSA. The missile has acquired a deviation. Yet with yet another uh, AJ-10 related kerfuffle under our belts, we can only hope that uh, next flight will uh, bring better successes our way and keep this uh, space program from drifting quickly into insolvency, which uh, seems to be its destiny. Uh, we will Watch this uh, slowly burn up in the atmosphere as a, a, a testament to its own failures. Uh, it deserves some sort of Viking funeral, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, that was actually where we had to end this episode. I had to kill it a little bit early. I did not have a whole lot of time to stream uh, the week that this was recorded. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next one. So, until then. See you later.